and welcome back. Today our topic is a robots taking out jobs from kitchen. So you may hear a lot of things about cooking machine, cooking robots. Uh, like uh, some fast food restaurants, they are doing experiments um, using robot robotic arm to flip the like to cook burgers basically to to flip the things ingredients for burgers and this is the one thing and definitely more and more fast food restaurants they are experimenting this solution and so this is type one a robotic arm so you don't need a a, a human to flip those uh, burger meat and second one I saw so far is that uh, there's a salad or yeah, it's like making salad for you. So they're also making burger like the the burgers, the vegetable things for burger. They were just uh, allocate those things and make sandwich or burgers. Uh, but it's not like cooking meat. Cooking meat, you it requires a robotic arm. So there are two different types of uh, uh, more widely adopted machines they already employed in restaurants, but just uh, in very, very small scale. And some people, when they see this that kind of news, they may be terrified, say, oh, probably they're going to replace uh, those uh, uh, chefs in uh, fast food restaurants. And they are, def they are also definitely the there's a demo that one fast food restaurant, they just uh, they just need one cashier. Then rest of things just uh, been been take uh just being uh dealt with by the robotic arm. That's indeed terrifying for for, for working people, right? But my view on that is that even they can do certain tasks really well, but they already they are highly specialized for they kind of they want one very task they cannot re they cannot really be adapted to var uh, variety of uh, different cooking items which means uh, if tomorrow you want to launch a new menu or you want to change your recipe a little bit this kind of robotic arms doesn't have their flexibility to adapt that fast. I'm not saying that it will never be that case, but at least just now, 2020, it's still this kind of technology is still not there yet. Until this technology shows uh, really mature, I think uh, restaurant jobs uh, will not be taken by robot. We're not taken by the robot. Um, I can foresee that one development is uh, we have one robotic arm, then we can write whatever program we want to make it specialized to making thing. But the problem is now we, we can already write a program to lay the robotic arm to do whatever thing we want because you, you can program wherever uh, it moves. Right? But the problem is they kind of program is super hard to write. You, you need a lot of experiment to do. So in the future, Definitely, people are empo will employ machine learning, artificial intelligence, uh, to lay the robotic arm to learn this cooking process. Maybe you let a human to cook something. Let's say Chinese fried rice. Uh, it's kind of you fry the rice and the, you cut some. You you put some ingredient, something like that. Then you let a human to demonstrate for a few times. Then the robotic arm is able to learn that. If we really can make the robotic arm as flexible as this, uh, just uh, like humans just need to see another human cooking for a few times, then we are able to do that. If a robotic arm can be uh, as good as this level, then we will really need to be worried about that. Uh, at least now, it's not the case. And uh, there are still some technological issue. Uh, for example, usually this kind of learning process uh, is we call uh, imitation. Uh, we, we just call it a supervised learning and it's very hard. 
And also, we also apply reinforcement learning for robotic arm to learn these kind of things. But the problem is, uh, robotic arms just need to do many, many trials in order to try many trials in order to learn how to cook one recipe. Maybe the many I mean here is like ten thousand, one hundred thousand. There's no many. Definitely, in the real life, you will not be able to lay the robotic arm to learn that many times because. That means you would you would probably screw up for one hundred for for ten thousand times. That's way too much for your kitchen. So that's not the case. At least now we don't have a very sufficient way to let the robotic arm to learn things. As for other things like the the setup, making machine, that's probably more adaptable because uh, you just need to change the ingredient in this. They, basically, one prototype I saw is like they have a lot of tube. Uh, which contains different ingredients, like uh, imagine you go to a Subway, you order a sandwich, then they will just uh, drop the different uh, ingredients to your salad or sandwich, then eventually wrap it up. This is like the easier way. So m probably we, we need to pay more attention on this kind of machine because it's easier to replace uh, uh, like sandwich making process. But as for other like things require cooking, that's harder because once it involves something uh, like cooking, you don't want you don't want robot robots to make mistakes. So they they think people will be more careful about that. Okay, so that's all my thoughts on t on the robotics and the kitchen jobs today. So if you would like to receive more content like this, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And other other than that, enjoy your breakfast, and I will see you next time.